Morning guys, Stevie here and uh, today I'm going to be tying a hothead damsel nymph uh, an unusual fly for me to tie because I normally I don't tie big flies usually uh, but in the vise I have a Camazan B170 size 8 and I've got a 4mm brass bead painted red one here, hot red and the thread I'm using is Olive Dunn and Uni AO I've already pre-waxed it so I'll take the thread down the hook I used to use these flies years ago, but recently I was, my brother was fishing and uh, he's, he told me he'd been catching fish on these, so I says I'd tie a few again, I used to tie them years and years ago. So here we go, so for the tail I've just got medium olive marabou, so you want a decent, decent bunch, uh, just roll it about on your fingers. And trim off the end. So you want this as long as you can get it, basically. About two times the size of the hook, at least. So just wind that in. And for the rib, I'm using Glow Bright number 11. So just wind this down the side of the body. And for the body, I'm using the marabou again. So just take a small pinch. Maybe 8mm or so. So just, again, just roll it a bit with your fingers. And square off the ends. Just a tight and just get a wee moisten. Makes life easier. And just tie us up the body. And take the man about under the hook. Guess a bit shorter, so just Bring it around with your forefinger and grab it. And trim off the waist. And for the body hackles, a panel tackle on this, I'm using an olive saddle cape. Let's just tie this on the side. And it's just one turn of the head and just bring it through the body. And catch it with the rib. And just bring the rib up through it. Nice even turns. Trim off the waist. just tidy up and push the scissors in for this I think the hook slipped a bit just square it up and for the forex I'm using chartreuse chenille So just one turn of this, hold the hackle back, there we are, and tie this off, trim off the waist, and for the collar hackle I've got this olive Brahma cape, if you look at Brahma uh, partridge, that was the original fly I used to tie anyway years ago. It was all of partridge. Well, like I say, this is a cracking fly for the small waters. 
I don't fish the small waters much now. Uh, but if there's a rainbow trout anywhere, this will catch them. So, just turn and a half. Tie it off. Cut off the waist. And just build up behind the bead. And some varnish. So just wind this on and what finish. Oops, slipped. And cut off the thread. So there you go guys, that's a hothead damsel. A very worthwhile pattern to have in your box. So I hope you enjoyed that one and I'll catch you later. Cheers.